we want somebody different. And so luckily for Nicole Garland, she got stuck with me. And that's how I got into Project Fearless was um, she was the person that was assigned to me. And she reached out to me right away and tried to help me get started doing things. Um, it kind of started as something that I was going to do for fun to maybe make a little bit of money. But as I got more involved in it and um, I realized that I could maybe really make some money to really help fund our gymnastics life, um, part of our life. So I thought I would really um, jump in and I did. Um, I did not make any success club in 2014. I didn't have any rank investment, rank advancements in 2014. I finally hit success club in January of 15 and I've hit it every month so far. Um, and then I advanced to rank in, to Emerald in January and then to Diamond in June. So now we'll tell you a little bit about my beginning process and what I did as I got started and why I did not make success club or rank advance right away. In 2014, when I started, I was going to be like the big fitness, you know, everybody do what I do person. And I had a business page. I didn't ever post on my personal page. I never posted on my personal page prior to this. And I was like, no way was I going to post my workout pictures and my food and all that stuff on my personal page. That was like too personal. Um, so I stuck to this like page and I did a little bit of advertising and things with it, but nobody really ever liked anything on it. Um, I gave a lot of information about, you know, eat this great food for you and this is how you should work out and that kind of thing. But I never got a lot of interaction on it. I don't know when I ever got on a team call, if I ever did in 2014. And I don't know that I ever got on the national wake up calls either. I guess I kind of thought I knew what I was doing. And when Nicole would ask if I'd get on the team calls, I was like, no, I'm way too busy for that. Um, on usually on weeknights, tonight's a, a weird night, but I'm usually in the car driving my girls home from gymnastics and I'm usually feeding them dinner, which means I'm throwing like food at them and they're yelling. And I was like, there's no way I can get anything out of a team call. Forget it. I'm not getting on it. So I never got any team calls. I never did anything like a power hour. I guess I kind of thought I did because I go get on Facebook for an hour. I never really did any personal development. Um, like I said, I didn't post on my personal page. Um, I was scared to death of putting any pictures of me in my workout clothes on my personal page. And I didn't build any relationships because I was all about like throwing fitness at people and throwing these cool workouts at people. And I just didn't bother doing any of that stuff. So 2014 was kind of pretty um, crappy. And at the end of the year, I was like about ready to throw in the towel. And um, I think Nicole was like, hey, don't, let's wait till the new year. Let's do some different things here, but don't throw in the towel. So I didn't. Um, and in 2015, then um, a few things changed in January. Um, I had somebody contact me out of the blue that wanted to do 21 day fix. It wasn't anybody I reached out to, but she did know I did fitness because she did go on my like page and she ordered it. So I was like, cool. I have two success club points. Awesome. So I got really brave and I asked my friend Bridget, who's on the call, um, if she wanted to be a discount coach, she had already, um, signed up with 21 day fix, I think in November. And so I asked her and she was like, yeah, sure. I'll do that. So here I had like two people. And so I thought, well, okay, now's the time I'll sign up my husband and I'm going to advance rank and I'm going to make success club. So that's what I did. And I got to Emerald and I got my success club and it was like an amazing boost. And I can see why they tell you to get your coaches going right away because then they're like excited about it and they have success and they want to keep going. And so that was kind of like my first, I guess, jump start into it. I also met my accountability partner in January, kind of by random on team pan. She wanted somebody to like her posts and I did, and we've become like fast friends. And, um, that's also a really helpful thing too. So find somebody that you can talk to that's maybe not even on your team that will keep you going when you are, um, like ready to just forget this whole thing or when you're discouraged or to run post by or whatever. It's, um, that's been a huge lifesaver for me too. And then I also found Gabby Bernstein, who I think is one of the greatest people ever. I love her books. I love listening to her talk. So Google her, check her out on YouTube if you haven't ever checked her out before, cause she will definitely get you out of any, um, hole that you've gotten yourself into. So that was kind of what started changing for me in 2015. I really still didn't post on my um, page. I felt weird using my kids to like get people to like my posts. And so I didn't still didn't really do a lot of that. And I didn't put myself on um, in my workout stuff like at all. That was like way too much. That was scary. So then February came along and I helped one person with the challenge pack. Um, so I got my two points and then I also helped my two daughters 
And if you remember the picture of them a little bit ago, they're not old. They don't use Beachbody programs. So I basically use their email addresses to get four more points so I could be in Success Club. So I got my six Success Club points. I got myself, I think, a copy of Insanity Max and, um, oh, 21 Day Fix Extreme because it had come out. So I got myself some workouts, but I really didn't get any legitimate. And I have way too much Shakeology now. But I still got my Success Club because it was important to me and I did it. Um, in March, I did hit Success Club 5. Um, I think that was all legitimate people. Um, but I still wasn't like really getting it. I still wasted a lot of time on Facebook, like scrolling through, looking for people that maybe posted a workout picture or talked about how they missed their workout that day. And I'd be like, Ooh, I'm going to jump on that. And so I might reach out to them, but I didn't start conversations with people just randomly to like chat with them and to build a relationship. So February, March, we're still like, um, not really working it. And I think, um, Nicole also asked me then to put my, I cut my kind of transformation picture is me with my huge pregnant belly versus me in February. And again, I was like, there's no way I'm ever doing that. Who wants to see that? Um, so then, um, then April came around and for some reason that morning I posted a picture of my, of Tyler who was like eight months old at the time I was holding him doing a plie squat and people like went crazy. I had like 45 likes on it. And so I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is like all you got to do. This doesn't have to be about look how cool I am or look at me in my fancy workout tank top. It's about doing real things with your kids and making it real for people. So I did that. I didn't really know what to say to any of these people, but I got some messages out to people and I couldn't believe my message thing was just dinging like crazy and I'd never had that happen before. So I got super excited. I hit Success Club super easy that month um, because I just kept reaching out to people about my picture. I got a little more brave with the posts with my um, with my workout stuff and my food and things like that. I totally went to my personal page. I stopped posting on the business page at all because that was like a huge time waster. It didn't do anything for me. And I started realizing how this power hour thing was supposed to work finally in April. And I started getting on the team calls and interacting with other people on the team and asking questions. And I started to figure it out. I still didn't really track my power hour. I kind of did it in my head, but I started getting the like, why you need to do it. So then in May, um, Jones started this power of three group and that like completely changed my whole business. Um, I can't even explain it. Um, the power of three group was filling out your power hour tracker every day. And I'll show you the one that I used in just a minute. But um, you fill that out every day, and it's the stuff you're supposed to do. Friend people, um, uh, make a list of the people that liked your posts, mark that you did your workout. And what we needed to do was take a picture of our tracker, take a picture of us in our workout clothes, a picture of our shake, and then put something in the um, post about the personal development that you read. So it really made sure that you did everything that you needed to do. And when I get like as part of a challenge, like I'm not going to stop. So of course in May there was like, I don't even know what the prize was. I did it every day for the month of May. I did my tracker. I did my workout. I did my shake. I did everything. And I posted this every single day, like without fail. I hit success club 10, um, on May 31st, it was on the very last day of the month. Um, so it didn't come super fast in May, but it, it came. And, um, then, um, so that was May. And then in June, like all the people that I had reached out to and spent time with in May, like all came back and like totally wanted to jump on board. I hit um, Success Club 27 in June. That's the highest I've ever gotten. Um, I got to diamond rank. Um, and I just, it was, it was amazing. And it was also the month that 21 Day Fix was on sale. So that's always a, a good one to get people involved in. And it was summertime and I, it was just like this, it was amazing. Well, the power of three groups stopped in June, on June 1st. And so what I found myself doing by the end of the month was I would um, do my um, power hour, but I stopped writing everything down. Or I'd um, maybe say, well, I'll just reach out to 10 people tomorrow instead of five today and five tomorrow. So I wasn't writing it down and I wasn't keeping track anymore. I was still kind of doing it, but not near what I was doing before. I still got to Success Club 23 in July, and that was, again, because of all the hard work I put in in May and at the beginning of June, but by the like middle to end of July, I wasn't doing the tracker at all. <laughs> um, I was kind of doing it in my head, and so it wasn't um, quite as effective. I didn't have anybody kind of checking up on me and having me do it. 
Um, I also had a lot of coaches cancel in July. They were discount coaches that had kind of run through their first 30 days and they were like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. And they canceled. And I think Beachbody must have done a clean out because on one Sunday I had like eight or 10 emails of coach cancellations and I about lost my mind. Um, so the end of July was kind of a, okay, we got a lot of success club, but where did all of our coaches go? How do I keep my business moving and in the right direction? So by the time August came around, I was doing like no power hour tracker whatsoever. I was really down on my business because things were not moving ahead and I had lost all these coaches. Um, and I'd also lost rank um, near the end of July as well because one of my coaches lost a coach. And so I was like super duper discouraged. And so in the month of August, I did kind of like nothing, I guess I'll say. Um, I did hit success club six because on August 31st, I had to call my daddy and convinced him or not a lot of convincing. He was ready to help me out. But I said, I really need you to do this for me. Um, can you buy this program? And he did, of course, willingly, but my dad lives in California. So by the time he got off work and got his office to like unrelease the email or release the email that it was stuck in like technical spam somewhere, um, it was after midnight when he got it done. So I had to call Beachbody the next day and beg them to move it back to August. And it was like the biggest eye opener and lesson that I'd ever learned in my entire life. And Beachbody told me they would never do that for me again, but here you go, here's your treat and don't let it happen again. So I vowed that I was never going to have that happen again. But on the plus side, my dad and his girlfriend love the 21 day fix and they love their Shakeology. So it was probably a blessing in disguise for them. But, um, so I learned a really valuable lesson. So in September I started doing the, um, the tracker again, um, kind of maybe a little halfway but then on September 14, Joan started the Power of Three group again, and I love a good challenge. Hold on one second. I have to tell my kids something. It's right by the stairs going down to the basement. What? Okay, just go. Okay, sorry. They just got home from a trip to Las Vegas, and we need to do laundry before we leave for Christmas. So, um, And they can't find the laundry bag. Okay, so on September 14, Joan started this Power of Three group again, and I jumped on it, of course. I think this time there was money involved which was even more exciting. And we did it for a month until the middle of October. In September, I hit Success Club 6. Um, we had just started it. I was just starting to get kind of not discouraged with my business again. So I got Success Club 6, and that was all legitimate people again. And then in um, October, I hit Success Club 20-something. I think it was 25. Um, I guess I wrote coincidence there because I just don't think it was a coincidence that the time that I put in on my um, business in September and doing that tracker every single day and putting in the personal development and the time like totally paid off for me again. So I learned my lesson. I have not gone a day without filling out that tracker. It goes with me everywhere. I have 18,000 copies of it and I fill that thing out every day because I'm not going to mess that up again. I'm not going to fall back into that hole where I have to call my dad or who knows who I could call this time. I've used everybody's email addresses to help me out. Um, I did hit success club 10 in November. I think I had eight points like the first few days of the month. And then the rest of the month has been a little bit slow. And I think I only have two points right now in December because it's a little bit tough with Christmas and things, but I've got lots of conversations going with people that will turn into something. Hopefully once these, um, the holidays are gone. So here's a picture of the tracker that I use. I can send it to anybody if they want it. It's the one that Joan gave us. And I, like I said, I have 8 million um, copies of it. Um, it's so simple. You fill it out. You feel really good when you get done and it's all filled in. Um, and I keep them all. Um, and so like I have a huge stack of trackers so I can go back and look at any hook ideas I had. Or if I think, well, gosh, I know there was somebody I talked to, but I can't remember who it was. I can go back and look at least the names and it'll like jog my brain about who I've talked to about different things. And, um, it's just, um, it's an amazing power track, hour tracker. So I suggest everybody using it. Um, I just kind of wrote down some of my personal development ideas because I have come to realize that this is like one of the most important parts of the business is kind of whenever I like message Joan or Nicole or Meg or something, I'm like, I'm, what am I doing? I'm like, can't get this. The first question out of their mouth is always, well, what are you doing for personal development? And then I always think, oh, I guess I probably haven't done any yet today. And so I know that that's like just such an important thing. So I do anything Gabby Bernstein. I just got done with the energy bus and that book is just amazing. I'm trying to get everybody on my bus. My kids are on my bus. Everybody's on my bus. Um, Go pro. I really like because um, you see the conversation template and what you're supposed to do, but I didn't really understand why those things work the way they do. And that one, I listened to it and I took pages and pages of notes because 
it tells you really explains why you need to offer people to um, choices and why you, you know, ask them questions the way that you do. Essentialism is one that um, I like because I have a tendency to um, like do way more than I probably need to because um, I get wrapped up in too many details. And this book really brought it down to me about um, you know, like my PowerPoint, it's not fancy. You don't need to spend 80 million years on your PowerPoint because it, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. And if you don't send out the fanciest message or have the fanciest collage for your post, it's not going to, that's not what matters, that it's kind of finding the important things that matter. So that one's a really good one. I suggest it. Um, you are a badass. Of course, everybody likes that one. And then I just started reading the secret and I know that I have a tendency to get myself into really negative spirals and how um, you can really talk yourself really into a negative position. So that's another really good one to kind of check out. And my last little slide here is just a quick, how do I fit it all in? Um, I don't have kind of a normal life. Um, it's not even all the kids. It's that I don't really go to a job every day, but I have a job and I have like a bunch of jobs between checking in with my classes and I do still do the bookkeeping at my office and I go there some days a week. And so I don't really have like the, Oh, I work eight to five. How do I fit this in? But what I do is I start out my mornings doing the stuff that like, I don't need people to interact with me on because I don't want to bug people at five in the morning, but I get up really early and I send out all my friends requests and I make a list of my posts from the day before and kind of check into the team page and the challenge group page just to kind of make sure I'm not missing anything there. And I can do all that stuff before people wake up in the morning. And then like I do it kind of 15 minutes whenever it works for me, but maybe like mid morning or during your lunch hour or something, send out messages to the people from your post yesterday and reach out to five people and invite to your challenge group. And that way those people have the rest of the day to let all that simmer and to respond to you. And then you can follow up with them during the day. And then before I go to bed at night, I'll check in with those people again or anybody that I've missed or, kind of that kind of thing. And of course I always do my workout and shake first thing in the morning and get that done. And I started listening to the personal development in the car because I'm in the car for like two to two and a half hours a day. And I, you know, I still talk to my kids, but usually they're doing homework or watching phonics on the DVD player. And I listen to whatever, um, personal development. And so by the time I get down to the gym, I'm pretty fired up to work on my power hour and stuff. So that's kind of how I get it all kind of fit in. And I guess here's my success club history and I won't like reiterate all the numbers again, but I started working doing the power hour tracker thing in um, June or in May and you can just see how the numbers really went up. I stopped doing it in July and August and started again in September. So you can just see how that those numbers really correspond with, um, with doing the power hour. And so it's just, it's, it's just like a non-negotiable. So are the team calls, so are the, um, the national wake up call, which I did not listen to this morning, but I listened to it during my workout on Tuesdays. Um, but you just can't miss those things because you got to interact with the group and you've got to, um, get new information and see what's out there. And that's all I have. Yay. That was so good. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. I hope I didn't talk too fast. That's kind of my, no, not at all. And, um, and I love just like how simple this is like just keeping it really simple because, Okay, so I was kind of giggling with Ryan because I remember being down in Texas um, playing um, yeah, playing shuffleboard with Chris, and we all may have had a couple drinks in us, but we were committed to doing the Fine Share Invite group, and Rachel was in that group, and I remember her being upset that I said that um, you know, the calls were non-negotiable. Like you had to be on the calls. And she's like, I've got six kids in a car. And, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I think that it's so funny that the girl who told me that is now not only saying it's a non-negotiable, but running the team call. So <laughs> that is, that's just, you know, that just shows the progress and what you've done in your business. And I think that's really cool. Um, but also, you know, yes, it is. It's just so simple. Like these numbers are so like telling and it's so awesome that like our business is a no brainer. Like it's so easy to succeed. All you have to do is the three vital behaviors every day. I mean, they've mapped it out for you. You do success club, you teach your coaches to do success club and you will be successful. So I just love that. Um, again, if anybody doesn't have that sheet that, um, that, that she showed, I think it is in the file section of Team Project Fearless's um, Facebook. I think it is. So you can grab it there. Um, and we certainly can do one in January. I just figured, 
December was a little crazy, but, um, I mean, at least for me just to be posting in there every day. Uh, but you know, everybody should be doing the three vitals every single day regardless. And that's why those groups are kind of cool too, is because it's like, it's something you should be doing anyways. And then you can get a reward from it or, or feel that like competition about it. And you're right. The first one in May, we didn't even do a prize. You still were like, I got to win this. <laughs> so. We throw a competition my way. I'm all over it. And I think that power of three group, the last one you did, was it like a week or something left? I said, if you want to stop posting the thing, you can. Cause I was the only one. Yeah, putting it in there, but I knew if I wasn't posting it in there, I wasn't gonna do it. But I did learn my lesson. Yeah, but we kept it going till yes. October first. <laughs> I said, "All right, well, we're not gonna do another one next month because it's just gonna be for Rachel." <laughs> <laughs> so, anybody have questions? I see that there's comments down here. I don't know if you've been reading. Oh, them. I can't see them. Hold on. Um, that's so funny. Cat saying, "I remember that moment too." Us sitting there uh, during that team call. <laughs> I remember, um, I remember that too. Katie, I need to start filling up my power tracker every day. Kylie says, awesome call. Bestest, thank you so much, Rachel. Amazing call. Kat said, you rock. Courtney said, great call. Uh, what else? Dominique, great call. Thank you for sharing. Meg Lyon, so awesome. Thank you for sharing. Nicole, proud of you. Come such a long way. Keep going. Bridget, you're so amazing and very inspirational every day. So, awesome. everybody loved the call. And I think that that was great because keeping it simple is kind of the name of the game as far as this business goes. People overcomplicate things. It's literally just doing your personal development, doing your workouts, drinking your shake, and reaching out. They're called vital behaviors for a reason. Yeah. So. Very simple. Without yeah. further ado, thank you so much for sharing. If there's no questions, we're going to let everybody go. Have a holly jolly Merry Christmas. Yes, Hanukkah Merry Christmas. Kwanzaa. We'll see you next week. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. Later, guys. Yes, stop recording.